Hi guys, I don't know what it is with me and making videos recently, but I've just done a five minute uh, intro into this, which I'm now re-recording. Gone to uh, show the software working, and, uh, and the software is not working properly, even though I tried it five minutes ago. So I've scrapped that video, and we're going to start again, and uh, hopefully it will work <laughs> this time. Um, so, as you'll remember from a few months ago, just bought this uh, IR6500 from uh, HEA, however you pronounce it, uh, rework, BGA rework station, and um, this is the first time I've had a proper chance to use it. I had gone out, I, in fact I'd kept a TV, a scrap TV with a minor fault, uh, just with the intention of taking it apart, removing a BGA, reboarding it, popping it back on and hopefully getting it back into the slightly faulty condition uh, to prove that it's, uh, it can be done. Uh, when I went out to the TV, took it apart, there's no BGAs <laughs> fitted. So uh, Stuart SGS, uh, SJSTV.co.uk is uh, sending me a, a couple of scrap boards so we can just have a play around with uh, the BGAs fitted to them. Uh, in the meantime, I had tried to think what I might have lying around that's got some BGAs uh, fitted, and uh, I remembered I had a couple of uh, old Sky HD boxes lying around. Uh, this is a Pace TDS 550s. Let me just check that. Yeah, it's a TDS 850. In fact, and there's a uh, underneath that large heatsink there. There is a BGA that we can uh, have a play around with. Perfectly working um, HD box, that's the only thing knocking around. Uh, because this is dark infrared, uh, it should in theory mean that we can remove some of the plastic components, the sockets and things, uh, without damaging the plastic. Uh, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll see whether that uh, works out or not. Uh, a couple of the other boards from the same machine, we're just going to try and get some of the plastic off. Uh, and just generally have a, a, a play with it. Uh, now you'll remember, you might not, but if you've seen the previous video, uh, there was a problem running the software with Windows 8. Um, the, although it's not connected to the machine now, I can still produce the, uh, the problem. Uh, as soon as you click on anything like run or upload a profile, you just get that C++ exception. Now I think it's a Windows 8 compatibility problem. Uh, and I've had to fire up a, an old tower uh, PC with Windows XP on it and the last video I did got to this stage and for some reason it was doing exactly the same even though five minutes before that I got it to run perfectly. So we're just going to run the software. Oh yes, it's gone straight into it this time. Uh, if you notice on that last screen you've got that little warning come up where you click OK and that's what was happening here a couple of minutes ago. Now I haven't had that warning up, uh, it's going to work. I just wonder if it's a, a USB communication issue because the socket on the, uh, the IR6500 is not the best. It doesn't seem quite deep enough to insert the, uh, the cable fully, so it's something to look into. Um, so you'll notice at the top right here there's an uh, open uh, curve and uh, of course that's what I thought we had to do, go and find a relevant curve. And when you, when you click on that, there's nothing in the folder. Um, but after messing around, I noticed down here that there's a curve set. And if you click on that, there's uh, lead free and lead profiles. And there are some other profiles down here. And I'm not entirely sure what they're for. And there's a whole load of stuff down there. A lot of the row uh, data isn't even there. So anyway, if we wanted to upload the lead solder profile you would just highlight it like that and then click on upload the upload progress is there and then it will follow that uh, that that, uh, that profile uh, in our case we're going to be going for lead free and the same thing highlight it click on upload and that will upload now at this point you can then click on run stop and just make sure there's nothing there. I'm, yeah, actually I'm not going to run the full, full profile, there's no board on it so I'm not going to do that but I will do uh, another day this week when we're ready to uh, start taking some of these things off. 
Um, but all you would do now is either on the machine or on here if you want to, uh, to see the chart, you just click run stop. You probably didn't hear it but there was a couple of relays clicking on the machine and the profile line will start here. Now because the thermocouple was just uh, lying loose in the air, of course you can see uh, that that's going up now that I've put it on the preheating plate. Obviously it would be attached to the PCB normally. Obviously it's trying to keep it to the profile. You can't actually I'll show you now. I turn this down. Hopefully you can see there the uh, set value is 120, process value is uh, is rising because there's no board there. Uh, set value for the top heater is 85 at the moment. If I put the probe there you can see the process value uh, going up and that will basically follow that profile uh, until it's complete and we're going to just cancel that press and hold the stop button in fact I might have to do that on the yeah because I'd controlled it from the PC it wanted me to turn it off uh, from the PC as well Although I did think that stop button would override the uh, the PC. Um, fans running and everything just to cool that down. I think probably the best thing to do when you're actually doing one of these bores is to put it through a cycle first so it's all nice and hot and uh, uh, let it cool slightly and then get on with it. So anyway that's uh, the plan this week. Uh, we're going to get uh, some of these boards on there, just have a look at the mounting. I've already set this up for that board. There's uh, not four holes unfortunately in the right place to mount this uh, particular board. Although if I have a little play around uh, it fits on there perfectly. So yes, just a, a quick look at that. If anyone's got any questions or wants me to try anything in particular, just uh, let me know on the forum or on the, on the YouTube comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we, it will do over the course of the week. Catch you later.